What's up guys? So today I'm going to show you how I do sky replacements. There's plenty of tutorials out there, but I feel like my method is a little cleaner than some of those. This was a tutorial requested by RVG. He just DM'd me on Instagram, wanted to know how I do my sky replacements. So here we are. If any of you guys want to see any specific After Effects tutorials for things you've seen in my videos, for example, if you want to know how I did anything in my My Year 2019 video, then please just let me know in the comments or DM me on Instagram at Drew Kosak. Anyhow, let's get right into this. So first thing you want to do is get your footage in After Effects. Here is my clip, let hyperlapse. Just a little hyperlapse I shot right outside my apartment of the view of downtown. First thing I want you to do is duplicate the clip. You'll see why later. Now go to your original clip, navigate to your tracker, and then track the camera. Press OK. Then you gotta wait a little bit for After Effects to track that clip. Shouldn't be too long because there's only 49 frames in this segment. Once everything is tracked, go up to your effects panel and click Create Camera. Now all the 3D data from that tracking is saved into that camera and we are done 3D tracking it. That's it for that step. Second step is to key out the sky in your top layer. So there are two ways you can do this. You can use a Luma key or you can use a color key. Most everything on the ground is darker than the sky. So I'm thinking a Luma key will do best here. If the sky was perfectly blue, I would probably use a color key. You probably still can, but we're gonna go with the Luma key in this case. So key out brighter is what we wanna do. Let's solo out this layer that we're doing a Luma key on just so that we can see the actual key because this layer below is gonna show the full clip. So let's key out brighter and then just go as far as you need to to get all of the sky black. Now scroll through your clip, make sure it stays black the entire time. It did not, so we're gonna adjust that threshold to cover that Luma value as well. So now it's black throughout the entire clip. There's your key, however, if you wanna see how the color key would do, you can go to color key, add that to the clip, take the dropper and key out the blue. And that works just as well. See, those are, those are approximately similar. You can key it out either way. We're gonna stick with the Luma key though. So now just to clean up the key a little more, we're going to use key cleaner, which is an effect that just smooths out Luma keys and color keys. Check reduce chatter to get rid of like little little bits of like black that kind of make the key look ugly. And then we'll play around with the edge radius to see what looks best. I think that looks smoothest, right about 25 there. And then alpha contrast, you wanna play with to see what looks best there. And that just kind of gets rid of the cloudy areas here. And I think that looks good. Okay, so there is our key. Now we can unsolo this layer. You see everything again because the bottom layer is still the full clip. Now what you have to do is take the clip that you want to replace the sky with and put it in between your two hyperlapses. Let's take this storm clouds clip and replace the sky with that. So we can throw this in the project. You wanna put it in between your hyperlapse and the background clip. We need to scale this up to 200% because it's only HD. Boom, now you've replaced the sky. However, in order to make it a little more realistic looking, we're going to make that clip a 3D layer and track it to the motion of the clip. So you go to toggle switches and modes, then you click this little cube to make it 3D, and now it'll automatically move with the clip. However, you see there's an issue here. It is not large enough to cover that entire clip. The way you fix that is to just move it. Here at the beginning, it's fully in frame, so let's go to the end, maybe move it to the left. Of, nope, that was not good. Let's scale it up just to make it bigger. And then maybe we can move it to the left a bit. There we go. And now that sky is visible throughout the entire clip. So now what you wanna do is get rid of all this down here. You can see that the sky is showing on the street here. The way you fix that is by creating a mask on the sky clip. So this storm clip, we're going to create a mask, put it right about where the horizon is, maybe a little lower. Then zoom out pretty far because we, we're gonna do a lot of feathering here, so we want this to be a big mask. So create your mask. That way, none of the ground is showing sky. Lastly, you want to feather the hell out of that mask. So select the storm clip, press F, 
and then jack up that feather really high. This can be whatever you think looks good. I think that's pretty good right there. Maybe a little more. Uh, maybe a little less. I like that, that looks good. Okay. So now we have replaced the sky. That is it, that's how you replace the sky. However, if you want it to look better, you want to blend these layers. And there are several ways of blending these. First of all, you can look at blending modes. So select your storm clip, toggle switches and modes. And I typically like using these blending modes, soft light, hard light, linear light, vivid light, pin light, they tend to work best with sky replacements I've found. So you kind of just sift through them and see what you think looks best for the look you're going for. That's soft light, that's that's too soft. That's what she said. <laughs> hard light, I like that, let's, let's go with hard light. Now another thing you wanna do to blend these is play around with the opacity of the storm layer or the sky replacement layer. And, and I already think that's that's a good opacity, just leave it at 100%. Another thing you can do to blend these even further is to adjust the colors in your original clip to match the new sky. As you can see, this sky is very blue. The clip itself is very warm and just doesn't mesh well in this case. So what we're going to do is make the original clip colder and maybe add some blues take away all this yellow, greenish stuff. So what you wanna do is take a Lumetri color effect, put it on that top layer, and let's adjust the temperature first, see how that helps. See, that's blending a little better now, but it's still, it still doesn't look too realistic, so let's, let's play around with this a little more. These greens and yellows are a bit distracting, so we're going to go into our curves section of Lumetri and go to hue versus saturation, and let's create a little point here, and then a point here. That way it's covering all the greens and yellows. And then let's, let's decrease the saturation of our greens and yellows here. That looks a little better, just cause the greens and yellows were a bit intense initially and it was kind of clashing with the blue. I don't like all this orange either, so let's actually continue to desaturate this further. Get rid of some of those reds and oranges. Now let's just make it all kind of blue. That looks a little better. And we're gonna have to copy and paste this Lumetri color layer to the bottom layer for it to have the full effect. There we go. That looks a lot better. I still think these trees are a little distracting, so let's let's pull the reds down even further. Yeah, I like that. And then copy and paste that back to whichever one. So that's after bringing the reds, yellows, and greens down a ton. I like that a lot more than it originally looked. As you can see, uh, if we switch back, that clashes. That clashes a lot. So turn back on our Lumetri layers, and that looks a lot better. Now, I think the contrast is a bit off, so you wanna match the contrast of your sky and your original clip, so I think the sky is a little low contrast-wise, so let's add a Lumetri layer to that and increase the contrast of your sky. That looks a little closer to what we want. Now that the original clip and the sky are matched a little more, we can go ahead and just color correct it all as a whole. Now create a new adjustment layer, add a Lumetri color layer to that, and then you can start color correcting this as one clip. So let's add some contrast, maybe bring up the shadows a teeny bit. Let's add some sharpness. Another thing I like to do to blend everything further is throw a LUT on top of everything so that all the colors are kind of like doing the same thing. So pick any LUT that you own. Uh, let's go with, I'm gonna go with Aqua by Hendu. That looks cool. See how that kind of shifted all the colors and made them blend together even more? I actually really like that. I did not use that on my original clip, but we're gonna go with that. So now it looks like a very violent, stormy day. The sky is 3D tracked, so it moves with the clip. The colors are matched. This is starting to look really good. Now, considering this is a storm and the sky is lighting up like this, but the actual clip underneath is not, so what I would do is add a new adjustment layer, add an exposure effect to it, and then keyframe the exposure to flash with the lightning in the background clip. Start your keyframing by pressing this watch, and then just add flashes on your own. So here, the sky is fully lit up, so the clip under Underneath should be pretty lit up as well. And then you just want to go through and keyframe this exposure to match the lightning in the sky. So I'm gonna do that real quick and then show you the final result. Oh,
soul twang, black as blood, nigga, yeah, yeah. Then go back and watch it. This, I think the light's a little too intense here. Maybe I can drop the opacity a bit. There we go. Now the entire clip is flashing along with the sky. I actually don't want this exposure effect to affect the sky, so let's move this exposure effect. Take all your keyframes by selecting that exposure effect and then adding it to the hyperlapse layers. Just copy and paste. That way the sky isn't getting even more bright than it already was. Yeah. I like that. There's your sky replacement and everything's a lot smoother and blended. Last thing I would do is add some sound effects to bring it to life and that is it. That is my sky replacement method and it's a little more advanced than the typical just key out the sky and then add something underneath it. Doing these extra steps really adds to the realism of it and just makes everything blend so much smoother. Anyhow, that is it for the video. Make sure to check out my My Year 2019 video. I'll link it in the description add a card to the screen right here or let me know if there are any visual effects in there that you want me to make a tutorial for leave that in the comments below or hit me up on instagram again it's at drew kosak and yeah subscribe to the channel and that's it for this video thanks for watching guys and i will see you guys in the next video Tryna get back to the bus. If I do not make a few million and shit it, I might just go back to the hustle. I got me some product and I ain't gon' hide it. I might just start trapping in public. 